Hello everybody and thank you very much for watching. What you see in front of you is WeMaxit portable monitor and Galaxy Tab S6 connected to WeMaxit monitor. And I do have DeX on this side and obviously the Android tablet on this side. If I'll open the Shadow Cloud Gaming service, I do have the Shadow Cloud Gaming service uh, connected, so to my virtual Windows machine. But what if I'm gonna click on open the Samsung DeX? So Reddit group is appeared on this screen. Hmm. But what if I'm gonna oh I can use on this screen? Interesting. And can I put it back? Yes. So the my deck setup with Shadow Cloud Gaming Service, and I have two screens. How is possible? Well, if you watch my previous video about zero tier and how to set up zero tier. Very good. You can continue watching this video. If you don't know anything about zero tier, sadly, you need to go and find that, uh, watch my previous video or just Google it and you need to set up zero tier service. In a nutshell, zero tier is a service that allows you to connect multiple devices into a virtual local network. That means that if, for example, my tab S6 based here in UK and my Shadow Cloud Gaming service is based in France, my virtual Shadow Cloud Gaming PC and my Tab S6, they both think that they're actually on the same network and thanks to the zero tier service. As a quick example, if I go to this website, zero tier, so drag that in and if I scroll down, I hope the camera will be able to pick it up. But here we go. I do have two devices connected, the unique devices IDs plus they received a virtual local network IP address. My tablet received 192.168.192.33 and the Shadow Cloud Gaming Service 192.168.192.43. So they're both on the local network. As a quick demonstration, I can go to CMD command prompt and I say ping 192.168.192.33. So right now the ping, I'm pinging from France all the way to this tablet and it's detected. So it means everything is working fine. So, okay, so that is great, brilliant. So how to get two monitors set up on this with this way? Well, there is an app on Android, which is called Duet Screen. Duet Screen is not free app. I believe it's eight or nine pounds. First, it was created for iOS devices, but recently it's been ported to Android devices. So I bought this app and I start playing around what I can do with it. Right. So first, uh, to get this uh, working, you need to have a duet screen app. Uh, well, you need to buy a duet screen app. And second, I'm just quickly while I'm talking, just closing everything and making sure that uh, the connection has been terminated. So I'm going to display settings. I do have no option to choose which display where. So it means only one monitor. Shadow PC thinks it's only one monitor. So that's fine. So I do have a zero tier running inside my Shadow Cloud Gaming service and I do have zero tier running on my DeX. So they're already connecting to this virtual network. So let's run Duet Screen. So I open Duet Screen. It's going to pop up next to a task taskbar and for next to a clock. So this is the quick settings, uh, FPS 30, uh, high power and no problemo. So go advanced settings. So right now uh, I ticked allow Wi-Fi connection. Come on, Wi-Fi, France and UK. There is no Wi-Fi between them, but zero tier fix that because it creates this virtual network. 192.168.192.33. So I do have IP address logged in. I'm just gonna run to a screen. This is running on here. And if I click connect, it should connect. Please bear in mind that the success rate of connecting is one out of five. So fingers crossed. Let's see what's gonna happen. So connecting and is doing something here. Let's see what's gonna happen. And it's probably not gonna connect because it's taking too long. And like I said, it's 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 fragile. It's that's what I'm about to would say. It's not the, the greatest super connection, but when it works, it's connects. And after the connection happened, you can then straight away start, it can go and start using. What I tend to do when it's not working or for some reason, it's just don't wanna connect. I'm just gonna exit that, close that, just quickly 
go to CMD. Uh, just want to make sure that the the computer shadow PC did still detects. So pinging fine. Let's kill the app again. Okay, so open to a screen and ping ping four times, no problem went. Let's run to a screen again. And I do, well, I, I'm not warning about that it's very picky of connecting because come on, it's like thousand miles between two devices and I'm playing around with this, with like this virtual networking and stuff, one, six, eight. And the last one is gonna be 33. So connect. Uh, come on, will you connect? Okay, don't wanna connect. This is strange. Uh, zero tier. Like I said, it is, um, it's fragile, it's picky when it's connecting. And one, oh, sorry, my bad. I punched the IP address incorrectly. Uh, connecting. Okay, connecting says there, there's, there's nothing here. Shadow PC um, client app, this Android app, should refresh herself, like do a, a quick restart as soon as the connection is established or about to be connected. So that's when I know that the connection will happen. Sadly, it doesn't work. So what I'll do, what I tend to do then, I'm gonna close this because when I'm closing Shadow PC app, it clears the graphics card or something. Anyway, it's, I just know it sometimes works, so that's what I'm doing. Let's go back to Shadow. Let's close that. We don't want this. So we're back to Shadow PC. Let's open up. Let's do advanced settings. Let's go run Duet. So Duet is there. 192.168.192.53. Let's connect. Let's try to connect again. Ah, fun. Fun in games when you're trying something doesn't work. Come on. Oh, great. I love these kind of things when I'm trying something and I'm like, brilliant, it's working. I'm gonna share with you guys. And suddenly when I press the camera on, this the programs and etc. just decides to, you know what? We're not gonna work today. So again, what I'm planning to do, I'm just gonna close that. So I'm closing the duet screen on this. Let's clear the app on my tablet. Let's make sure that does it run. I'm going to task manager and do a screen, do a screen. I can't see do a screen. Let's quickly check, go away. Okay, it's not running. Let's open up do a screen. Okay, running do a screen, brilliant. Let's double click. Why is that not wanna open? Here we go. Right, so let's go to here. Do a screen. I'll delete this remembered devices. We don't need that. 192.168.192.33. Connect. Oh, yes, please. Here you go. A little close everything and turn it on again. It's working. <laughs> to be honest, I'm very happy that it's actually worked. Let's go to settings and identify one. And that's supposed to be two. Oh yeah, it's appeared now. One and two, right? So second screen, I do not have option to change resolution here. But if I go to do a screen app, I do have here. So I can go all the way to 2560 by 1600. Let's go one up, 1920 by 1020. So we're opening that. So very now the screens is nearly, as you can see, nearly similar size. Uh, actually, I can make them both look similar. Sadly, sacrificing the edges. So now it should be, they should have pretty much same ish resolution. So if I take this and I drag here, yeah. <laughs> and if I drag down, yeah, pretty much a similar resolution. 
So let's have some fun. What I'll do, I'll run the Path of Exile game in the window mode. So I'm going to say, yep, uh, full screen. And I do should have option to drag. No, right, let's minimize this. Let's tr try to drag this this way. And let's try to drag game this way. Okay. So as you can see right now, you'll be able to see the performance between two screens. This is a shadow client and this is the duet screen connected via zero tier local network service and etc. etc. And I can see my character. <laughs> to be honest, if I if I will manage to get two screens which are identical, I can put them side by side. One can have the shadow running inside decks, and no one can have somehow get duet screen and I can connect them and I can have a, a dual screen monitor span out. I don't know, I'll, I'll think about it. As you can see, right, the performance on this screen is fine. This one is a bit choppy, again, latency. One thing I would like to point out, if I go to network control settings, there is no option for me to actually create this, the mosaic, whatever it's called, what's it called? uh multiple screen setup so there you go uh that's all i can have it's only one option i cannot create the multiple screen gaming setup so surrounding surround here you go nvidia surround i cannot do that but if the game allows me to stretch across two monitors that should work so recap what you need you need to set up zero tier successfully and obtain the virtual local ip addresses you need to have a duet screen um, host installed on your windows machine or on your mac and etc second what you need is the android app uh, on the google play store about eight or nine pounds and everything's connected this way and then you have a dual screen setup i just hate these black bars let me quickly go here Let's go to recommend it. So, right, let's say, okay, and identify is one and two. Brilliant. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope this video is not too long, it's 12 minutes or so. Let me know in the comment section below what you think, what else I should try with this. I'm planning somehow to get my ultra wide monitor 34 inches to connect it with X and that ultra wide monitor 25 inches connected to this. I do have a lot of monitors here where are they all, but I'm planning to use. I'm planning to use this one in the just see how it goes. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next one. Goodbye.